We have a total of six basketball games in the second annual Fort Laramie MLK Classic. We have local teams from Hancock, Shelby, Auglaise, and Mercer County all converging at Fort Laramie today. So let's get right into the highlights. The undefeated Louis Benning Eagles from the BBC take on the Anna Rockets of the Shelby County League in our opening game of the MLK Classic. In the opening quarter, Lincoln Garlock comes away with a steal and he will take it to the rack for the layup. Eagles now have a six-point lead. Then in the second, Carson Conaway spots up for a triple try and the junior sends it through the twine. LB takes a 21-10 lead. To the third, Anna trails by eight. Here's Carter Siegel showing off his range from beyond the arc. He casts the three ball and now the Rockets pull within five. In the final seconds of the third, Rockets trail by three. Mason Carey intercepts the pass. He hands it off to Siegel who beats the buzzer with the layup. Anna trails by one. But in the fourth, LB pulls away as Kaysen Doolittle gets the pass and he gets the three-pointer to fall. The Eagles stay undefeated and improve to 12-0 with a 49-45 win. Another Shelby County team takes part in the MLK Classic. The Rushi Raiders make a 10-mile trip to Fort Laramie to take on the Willer Crimson Flashes. We pick it up in the second. Raiders trail by one. Brandon Cardonier finds Brandon Monning and he finishes at the rim. Rushi leads by one. To the third, Cordonier goes hard to the rack and he gets the bucket for his team. Raiders with a five-point lead. Then the sophomore decides to let it fly from downtown. His triple try is true. 21 points for him today as the Raiders' lead grows to eight. Rushi up by five now. Hayden Quinter heads to the rim and he lets the teardrop fall. A game-high 27 points for him today as Rushi goes up by seven. Now it's Mani with the assist over to Zane Shappy and the senior goes up and under for the two. Rushi goes on to win 71 to 60. To game number three, the St. Mary's Rough Riders take on the 12-0 Lexington Minutemen. The Rough Riders looking for their third straight dub. We start off in the first, St. Mary's down by four, and the Ohio State commit Austin Parks takes it himself. He gets the basket, St. Mary's trails by two. Now it's Parks with the ball once again. He splits through two defenders and powers his way through for the two-handed slam. Rough Riders tie the game up at six. Then Parks with the assist to Braden Sullivan, and the senior lets it fly. He nails the three ball to tie the game up at nine. Jumping ahead to the second quarter, Evan Anksman glides to the hoop and gets the layup. Rough Riders now take a one-point lead. Then Parks sends it over to Jace Turner, and the junior buries this three ball. St. Mary's goes on to win 49-46. to In the fourth game, the host school Fort Lormie welcomes in the Yellow Spring Bulldogs from the Metro Buckeye League. The Redskins have won seven of their last eight games coming into this matchup. In the second, Fort Lormie up by 18. The ball ends up in the hands of Ryan Hosher, and he takes it to the rack for two. Fort Lormie leads by 20. Moments later, Caleb Bauer pulls up and knocks down the jumper right in front of us. Redskins now lead 36-16. In the second half, Austin Plyman finds Maurer, and he flashes three on the scoreboard. The home team now leads by 21. Then it's Ethan Kaiser, who gets in on the three-ball action. He hits nothing but net. The Redskins go up by 22. In the final seconds of the third, Maurer fires a dart over to Hosher. He drains that dime from downtown. Fort Lormie defends home court with a 61-45 win. The Midwest Athletic Conference is also represented in this classic as the Marion local Flyers put their seven-game winning streak on the line against the Springfield Shawnee Braves. Flyers with only five points in the first. In the second, Tate Hess finds Jack Kanapke and he kisses it off the glass. Flyers trail by six. Now it's Hess who goes high off the glass for the bucket. However, the Flyers still trailing by nine. Then it's Austin Niekamp who hits a wide open. Mitchell Ranley, he puts on three more for Marion Loco. The Flyers trail 20 to 16 at the half. In the third, Ranley with the assist to Kanapke and he gets the job done in the paint. This game is now tied up. Moments later, Hess shows no hesitation as he drives to the rim. His bucket is good. However, the Flyers can't hold on as they lose this one, 35 to 33. The Minster Wildcats also representing the MAC as they take on the Miami East Vikings in the finale of the MLK Classic. We start off in the first. Dylan Watercutter passes it to Cole McClurg. He drains the long dime from way downtown. That ties things up at eight. Moments later, Minster's shot doesn't fall through, but Cole Alberts is there for the cleanup. We're all tied up at tens. Then Alberts is double teamed. He kicks it out to Watercutter, and the senior hits the three ball. Minster now has a one point lead. Moments later, McClurg lobs it into the paint, and Ian Holman muscles his way for the basket. Wildcats trail by four. Now it's Logan Cooney who gets it inside to Alberts, and he scores with two men in his face. However, Minster drops this game 55 to 42. 